What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we didn't even think about it. We just went in and straight up defeated Watson. Yeah, we got three ba we got three badges right here, guys. Three. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. And, uh, wow, we, we, we totally embarrassed Wally. Poor Wally. Like, for reals, poor Wally. And, uh, well, let's see. There are quite a few things that you could do before you move on to the next place. Uh, I want to say I want to do a tour right here, but many of these places are just like, you know, um, they, they, they're just different stuff that sells, collects, and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading off of this. Uh, this person's talking about Thunderous, Landorus, and all that stuff. Uh, let's see. This is a cruiseway, and I think this person teaches you the ultimate move. Probably, I don't know. Re reflexol reflexology, and sure, let's go ahead and uh, give it a massage right here. And because of that, yes, uh, yes, it's a little more happy. I probably should have given that to Toxic Batman. Yeah, and then uh, let's see. This person right here is a Ruby Rusty Retail. Would you like to do today? Gorgeous ribbon. Oh wow, it's a very popular item and it's 10,000. Okay, so I don't even know what these ribbons do, but eventually we'll get to it. Right now we don't have enough money for just about anything because, well, shoot, we're just starting. So what we're gonna be doing right here is we're gonna be going straight into Route 117 and there's quite a few things that you can do right here. You're like one, this area is home to the Pokemon Daycare where you can actually breed two Pokemon at one time. And, well, you can battle quite a few a few trainers right here. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing, is battling as many trainers as possible, getting leveled up, and just getting nice and swole ready for the fourth gym. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff, guys. A lot of stuff. So here we go. Team uh, Tommy JDF and Olay ready to take on these two guys. So looks like to me, I'm going to go with the double kick onto Zigzagoon and uh, Bobbly Beam. To Makuhita because it can actually happen. Now, in our last episode, too, Ole, yeah, he got Bubble Beam. And, uh, well, yeah, well, it looks like our team is getting a little stronger. We're, we're definitely enjoying all the battles that, right, that are coming right here. And, of course, we are flinched, so payback time. Let's go with a Peck Attack and, again, Water, water Gun or Bubble Beam. So, there we go. Peck Attack does its trick. And just like that, Tommy D JDF gets some more points. And well, yes, we we definitely we're we're definitely doing our part right here, guys. So let's go right ahead and grab some berries and see what this is all about right here. Look at that. We got ourselves two pinat berries, and then it looks like we're gonna get eight of them in total. So there we go. Got ourselves eight pinat berries. There we go. Get this one right here. And now off screen, I did teach our new Pokemon, Lanoon. Now it evolved, Zigzagoon evolved while, without even battling. It evolved. We taught it Rock Smash because later along this episode, we will be needing, uh, we will be needing it. And it looks like we have a Pokemon right here. And where can it be? Oh wow. Okay, so this Pokemon is right over there. We need to put on a Repel now. Putting on a repel, guys, does not take away from uh, what was it called? Uh, from what you're searching on on the, on the Poke Radar right here. So I'm gonna be sneaking by. That way we don't lose this Pokemon right here. And this looks like a Volbeat or a Lumise. One of the two right here. And bam, we got ourselves a Volbeat now in Pokemon Omega Ruby. I think. I think this Pokemon, it, I think it's in reverse, you get Ilamise, so, yeah, if you guys need to, need to get the either or Pokemon, this is the place to go, and, yes, we're throwing a Pokeball just right off the bat, because screw it, and there it is, we caught him, so, here's another thing too, guys, um, off screen, yes, I will be capturing a boatload of Pokemon, and I'm talking about boatload, like the guys that we missed. Normally, I capture all the Pokemon I see around here because I kind of want to grow levels. I want to be above everything, but, you know, I kind of want to get done with the adventure first. And, uh, well, before we do anything, 
Let's go right ahead and use Thunderball because I, I I see an old friend of ours. I see an old friend and that person's gonna be right over there. This guy, so bring it. I'm in the middle of a triathlon, but whatever, let's have a battle. Okay. So how do you have a triathlon in the middle of like, you know, a, a route right here? It's, I, I, I have so many questions. So here we go, take it on the Doe Duo. And like I said again, we played this game so many times that, you know, it's ridiculous. So let's go with an Ultra Ball or uh, Electro Ball right here. And this Electro Ball does the trick, Doe Duo. Feeling very dodo. And, well, Lenoon grows level 21 without doing anything. And bam! That was easy. Very, very easy. Okay, so, let's see. Let's go right ahead and continue on uh, whatever it is that we're doing. So, yeah, like I was saying, guys, uh, it, it's probably going to be in a particular episode where I am going to be capturing a boatload of Pokemon breeding them, um, raising them and all that stuff. That way, we can start getting those teams from uh, different generations set up right here onto Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Um, it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of hours, so yeah. And, you know what? A lot of help from Pokemon Omega Ruby, which um, I, I, I could say that I am far ahead right here. I think I'm in like the 6th six, six badge? No. 7th? I'm somewhere. So, we'll be good. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. And then plus, um, I'm still thinking of doing a video where I show trades. Oh, look at that. It takes two to tangle. Look at that. Yeah, confusion. Um, oh, wow. It's faster than me. Come on. And here comes a wing attack. That is not fair. Come on. Let's go, Gaia. Damn it! Of course, I get, I get hurt because, you know... Nobody likes me right here, and uh, it is confused. Yes, you are hurting yourself. Okay, come on, hit him, damn it. Okay, so it's really a confusion battle right here, so let's go right ahead and, oh, damn it. Okay, so, look at that. Okay, so, <laughs> nobody likes me. Let's go ahead and go to Thunderball, because Thunderball is pissed. Okay, so let's see, we do have revives. So let's go ahead and uh, revive our Pokemon, because we still need those experience points and all that stuff. Uh, right here. There we go. And here comes a Supersonic. Thankfully, we have Soundproof. So none of those things are going to work. So eat this Charge Beam Attack for the win. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Special Attack has risen. So let's see. What else can we do? Okay, everybody's getting points. And here comes a Shroomish. So now we're gonna have to switch out of our Pokemon right here and uh, continue this whole this whole thing. So let's go, Tommy JDF. And here comes Lydia with Shroomish. Now, gotta you guys gotta understand. Yes, there are Pokemon right here. There are trainers like the breeders that will have six Pokemon. And the funny thing is that, or the great thing about this 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 area is that. These Pokemon trainers will all want to train or will all want to battle you every single time you get. So training won't be that hard. And well, let's go right ahead and go back to Thunderball right here. And well, let's see. What do you got? Thunderball looking pretty cool. Here comes Azuril. And the funny thing is that I don't think Azuril is a, is a water type Pokemon just yet. So let's go ahead and try to test that method right here. There we go. Yes, it is not a Water-type Pokemon just yet. It won't be until it evolves. And, well, Olay grows to level 26. And here comes Goldeen. So we're going to take care of Goldeen with our good old buddy, Thunderbolt. And still, I cannot believe that I'm using a Voltorb on my team. A literal Voltorb on my team. And there we go. Just like that, we have defeated another trainer. And, or another Pokemon. And here comes Badu. And, well, let's see. Screw it. Let's go, Tommy JDF. Let's do it. And. No, well, it's still asleep. So, let's see. What can we do? Look at this. This guy is asleep on the job. God dang it. Alright, uh, Lava Cookie. Yes, it heals all conditions. So, let's give Tommy JDF something right here. 
And yes, this Pokemon is wide awake now. And here comes a <laughs> water sport out of all moves. But the good thing is that I got myself another move that can uh, bypass that, and that is a peck attack. Here we go. Hopefully, no effect spore will affect us. And there we go. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. And here comes a skitty. So let's go ahead and take care of business. Use a fighting type attack to beat this kitty cat right here. So here we go. Double kick for the win. And there it is. Say goodbye, kitty cat. Okay. Alrighty. And well, let's see. Everybody's getting points, and Gaia the Fierce Knight finally grows to level 20. That right there is very special, because look at this. Finally. Finally, we got an evolution out of Gaia. Now, Gaia should have evolved a long time ago, but as many of you guys can already tell, I am taking my nice and sweet time with everything that I am doing right here. So, there it is. Bam! Gaia the Fierce Knight has finally evolved into Curlia. And well, it doesn't learn any new moves, but it's still it's still something right there. So let's go ahead and continue on our little adventure. There is somebody right there wanting to battle us. So let's go right ahead and take a look at Gaia first. As you can see, Gaia is still a psychic and fairy type Pokemon, a very useful Pokemon. Its uh, its nature is calm. Meaning that its physical attack won't be as good, but its special defense is going to be very, very good. Um, the other thing, too, is its trace, which it copies the, oppo the opposing Pokemon's ability. We got 10 more levels to go in order for it to actually evolve into its final stage. So let's go back to Tommy JDF and, well, let's go ahead and ruin this guy's day. Once a bug catcher, now bug maniac. But my love for Pokemon remains unchanged. Man, this guy is dedicated. Okay, so here we go, taking on Bug Maniac Garrick, and well, he's gonna have an Encata. Alrighty, here we go, Tommy JDF. How's it going? And well, let's go right ahead and go with a Flame Charge for the win. And there you go, Encata defeated. And well, let's see, what else can we do? Nothing much, just get more experience points. And well, here comes a dust talk, so we're just gonna continue on right here with Tommy JDF and let's get it with a flame charge attack. There we go. Oh, you gotta love that flame charge animation right there. Bam. Now something that I something that I regret, and I continue to do to regret some stuff, guys, because you know, had I been a little bit more educated or a little bit more, you know, informed about the things that go on here, like in basically the Pokemon world or Pokemon games, computers, and all that stuff, I think I wouldn't be doing many of these walkthroughs twice. I'd be a little bit for a little bit more uh, far ahead with other games. But yeah, had I known about like you know, oh look at that, he's learning self-destruct, and uh, well let's see what let's see what happens here. Yeah, we're not doing that. Anywho. Self-destruct, yeah, hey, we can learn that a little bit later, but I do not want it, okay? So, like I was saying, had I learned about, like, you know, the mystery gift and all that stuff, then we probably would have been having some pretty rare Pokemon, like, you know, uh, the special Blaziken that you can get. Now, if you go right here, you can cut this, and you'll be able to find yourself an item right here, and that is this. We're, we're going to find ourselves a Revive. And, well, let's see, there is something else that you could actually find right here. Like, for instance, if you go... Oh, wow. This always happens. Let's see, what kind of Pokemon can we find? Is that... Oh, look at this! It's another Pokemon. It's Ill Illumise. Okay, so... Usually it takes a while for me to find this Pokemon, but... I can't... I can't mess this up. Where is my Repels? Yeah, looks like we got our Super Repel. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get this Pokemon right here. There we go, and bam. And the Pokemon that is here is Ilmeze. It's a very, very difficult Pokemon to find alongside Volbeat. And, well, I'm going to capture this guy because 
We want to add it up to the collection right here. So here we go. And come on. Stay in the ball. Be cool. Come on. And I am throwing out that peace sign. Hell yeah. Okay. So there we go, guys. Get ourselves a few new good Pokemon. And here goes the... Uh, well, here goes the data bank right here, and what we get is Illumise, the Firefly Pokemon. Illumise light leads a, a flight of illuminated Volbeat to draw signs in the night sky. This Pokemon is said to earn greater respect from its peers by composing more complex designs in the sky. That's pretty cool. Not gonna nickname him. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab that item right here. And here we found ourselves another Great Ball that pretty much replaces the gray ball that we just captured this guy is. And if you go down here, well, we gotta battle this person first, so let's go battle this person. Okay, so here we have Pokemon Breeder Isaac coming out with a Whismur, and well, let's go right ahead with Tommy JDF. Okay, so you wanna catch these hands. Rated E for everyone, so let's go with a double kick. There we go. And just like that, Whismur has been defeated. And, well, we're getting a little bit more points right here. Lanoon growing to level 22. I could use that to, to battle him, but I try not to. So let's go with Thunderball. And let's see what ends up happening right here. So here we go, Thunderball. How's it going? And here comes a Taylo. Now, some of you guys are getting on my case about Taylo. How come you didn't get one? I kind of wanted one with Boom Burst. I think I already have it in Omega Ruby, so yeah, my bad, guys. So there it is. We got ourselves another victory right there against a Talo. And here it comes out with a Zigzag Goon. So we're going to go back to Tommy JDF. So let's see. What to talk about since we we have no speed button, and, I, and, and I'm definitely not getting the emulator for this one because when it comes to emulators, well, we can talk about that. When it comes to emulators, guys, uh, huh, it, it takes me a while to get to learn them and all that and to find out the best. That's why there's YouTube. You get to learn anything from YouTube. And when I played Pokemon Platinum, Heart Gold, I got to learn that, you know, there are different kinds of qualities of the, uh, what was it called, um, different kinds of qualities of the emulator. And the funny thing is that, the funny thing is with that, that I oh like ever since I redid everything on my channel I always wanted to make it a point to you know to trade Pokemon that way you guys can see and a lot of you guys have been enjoying the trade episodes and whatnot which there will be one right here many many trade episodes but with like the Desmume yeah that one right there is not that one right there just kind of like uh, it kind of it kind of caught me on a, on a for a loop because yeah I wanted a speed button, I wanted good quality, but then again, I wanted to trade, and it, to me, it kind of sounded like you couldn't have all of them all at the same time, so, yeah, you had to pick one or the other, and then, literally, I found out through YouTube, I was like, you know, a few, like, a few months ago that you could actually play the DS games on a 3DS, which kind of messed me, or just kind of pissed me off, because it was like, wow, so you mean to tell me I could have traded Pokemon? In the three, in the DS, that 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 right there was, that right there pissed me off. So yeah. Now with uh, let's see, the 3DS right here. Yeah, I'm definitely not taking my chance because at least I can change or I can uh, trade Pokemon right here. Plus, I got the connected version of uh, the capture card for the 3DS, so I'd rather not risk it because, you know how hard it is. You know how hard it is to actually find one of these uh, control uh, these uh, capture cards now in 2023. Very very hard, and you know how expensive they are. They're rare and expensive. You don't want that. So if we go down right here, you're gonna be you're gonna be going into Mauville or Verdant Turf Town, and you'll be finding something sparkly. This right here is a Mauville Light, which is a Mega Evolutionary Stone for Mauville. Which uh, I think you can actually grab right here. So let's see. I think there's an item right here somewhere. Probably. I don't even know. But don't fret, guys. We are in Verdant Turf Town. This right here is a brand new city or town. 
that I guess Wally's living at. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to buy some repels. Or actually, yeah, I'm going to buy some repels because we, we kind of need them right now. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back here in Verdure Turf Town. And what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be going into the, uh, what was it called? The Rust Turf Tunnel. So, if you guys remember, when we had to save Pico, we were on the opposite side of the Rust Turf uh, Tunnel. And there was some stones blocking our way, but now that we won our third badge, we are able to use the, uh, what was it called, uh, we were able to use the rock smash technique, so that means that eventually we're going to be smashing some rocks, but before we do any of that stuff, we're going to go down here. And we're going to be looking for some stuff. Now, technically, we are in Route 116. But around here, there are some glasses that you probably need to grab. And I could use the... <laughs> you know what? I could use the the item finder. So it's going to be right here somewhere. There we go. Right here. Okay, so... There we, are. there we are, guys. We found ourselves the black glasses. Now, this kid right here is going to be looking for some pair of glasses... And he notices that you got some, but he's going to look at them. He's like, these are black glasses. They're not what I'm looking for. So they're not here. And he is going to be walking away. Now, in this particular location, you can find one, a two, and I believe, hold on just a sec. You can find two areas where you can make your secret base. Later on, after you have defeated your father, which is, I believe, the fifth badge, you will be able to find other people's secret bases online. And believe it or not, guys, people still play this game to this day. Uh, I would know because I've actually tried it with uh, my Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby walkthrough. Or with my Pokemon Omega Ruby game. And uh, that could serve as very, very good training for you know later on episodes right here. So, here we go, digging on this guy. He's like, what do you call a man who lives among the mountain's crags? A mountain man, right? So why don't they call a Pokemon that climbs uh, steep cliffs a po wait, 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 a Pokramon? Pokragmon? I, I think that's a Digimon or something. Hmm. Okay, so here we go, taking on Hiker Mike, and, well, he's going to be coming out with his Geodude right here. So, let's go, Tommy JDF. Let's get it, and, well... Let's go with a double kick right here. Now, again, yes, eventually I will be showing some trade evolutions. Can't wait. Um, quite possibly I'm going to be trading off-screen for some Pokemon that I can't get right here. I mean, yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. And I might add some Pokemon that from the Pokemon Bank. Um, I have been playing other games too, just to update this whole place. That way, eventually, I send them over to uh, the, the Nintendo Switch. I think I've already sent in like a bunch of my Pokemon right there, so we, we, we will see. And, well, we have defeated Mike, and he is not happy right now. So here's the thing. We're going to be going up here, grabbing this, and we found ourselves a Max Ether. Now, here's a cool thing. Once you break this, uh, well, she's going to notice that you have Rock Smash. So what's going to happen is, yes, we're going to accept breaking all these rocks. Once you do all of that, they disappear, and the boyfriend is right here, and he's like, Wow! You shattered all those boulders blocking the way! To show you how much I appreciate it, I'd like to, have you, uh, to give you this. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves a, another, another uh, Mega Stone, and that is the Agron Knight. And I found that when I was digging for a tunnel, I felt like there was uh, some mysterious power coming from it. But I, I, I don't think I could get, uh, I could do a thing with it. Oh, well. Wanda, now I can see you anytime. That's so wonderful. Come on, let me take you to my place so you can rest. Is that what it is? Okay, let's keep it PG. Anywho, now we're gonna be moving on forward because there's one more thing that you guys need to do. And wait, hold on. There's something right here. There you are. Okay, we found ourselves a dire hit. Okay, so there is something that you need to do right after you've accomplished all of that. And sent in the parts for for uh, Captain Stern. You go right here. The scientist that you helped early on is going to be waiting for you. And he's like, oh, it's you. You're the trainer who helped me in the Petalburg Woods and so and also got back to my case that was stolen and then graciously delivered it to Slayport. 
Captain Stern informed us that he that the case has arrived safely. I thank you very, very much. If I were a rain cloud and I could shower you with gratitude and hail you as a hero, for you, most the most wonderful trainer, I bear good news. Recently, our company developed a new kind of Pokeball as a token of our appreciation for all your help. We would like to give you one. And here we get ourselves a repeat ball. And he's like, please do try it out. Thank you and bye-bye. So, after obtaining the repeat ball from him, you can go to Rustboro anytime and, and actually buy two specialized Pokeballs, which is the Timer Ball and the Repeat Ball, both of which are very, very good Pokeballs for capturing Pokemon that are too strong or capturing one Pokemon that are, you know, the same species that you've already caught before. So, anywho, I think that's pretty much it for this episode right here because, wow, we've, we, 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 got, we, got two, we got two Mega Stones and... What else? Yeah, two Mega Stones and a lot of stuff. So we've accomplished a lot right here. So one thing we need to do now, or we we there's one thing that I want to do, and that is let's go to Wally's uh, relatives' house. Nothing too special. It's just you'll find out where Wally lives. Um. Oh, and there might be an item right here. Oh, so there's an item right there. Okay. Anywho. Let's go right here, and uh, let's see, I don't think this person can actually give you any kind of uh, items. And yes, she's talking about the Pokemon Elite Four, which, as many of you guys already know, it, they are the, cre the creme of the creme, and this is Wally's parents' or relative's house. And talk to her, she's gonna be like, it's amazing, my, boy my daughter's boyfriend was digging that tunnel by hand. It's so incredible. Young love, you gotta love that. And, uh, well, let's see. Oh, so you did come to visit. If you're looking for Wally, though, I'm afraid he's gone. After he lost you in Mauville, he said that he would train some more. And we haven't seen him since. Huh, you don't say. Uh, it must have been, it must be his Pokemon that have a lit, such a fire, uh, in that boy and given him so much hope for, uh, to live for. That is good. That is very, very good. And, well, as you guys can see, the lovebirds are right here. Thanks to you, I can see my girlfriend every day. Happy? You bet I am. I bet you are happy. Holy crud. And, well, oh, you're you're the Draven who uh, Wally was telling me about. I'm Wally's cousin, Wanda. Nice. Anywho, I think that's pretty much it right there, guys. Now, I, I am curious. I want to go and see what kind of item uh, we're looking at. So, I'm going to go back down right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go with this one. And, huh, hmm, oh, it's right down there, okay, and we found ourselves a repel, not bad, okay, so, I think that's pretty much it, guys, yeah, th this is pretty much it, so, what's going to happen next is, look at this, we got ourselves the acrobike off screen, and that should tell you for what's going to happen in the next episode. And that is, we're going to be going into the cycling road. We're going to be taking care of stuff right there. Getting uh, a few battles in, getting our Pokemon stronger. And then we'll see what ends up happening after that. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.